going to produce another high dynamic range image. A high dynamic range image is one that has a huge range of luminosity. So for instance, uh, a scene might have uh, the, the water in it or the ocean in it. It may have a foreground of beach sand, and there may even be a couple of uh, small trees sort of off to the side if you're on a rocky beach. So the camera can't possibly get all three of those planes in proper exposure. And normally, uh, one of the areas of that picture would certainly have the wrong exposure. It would be either overexposed or underexposed. So in order to create a really cool image and have all planes properly exposed, you can potentially bracket the image or the scene. And what that means is, is the photographer will go in and they will shoot multiple exposures of any one scene. In one exposure, the sand or the beach will be, in pro will be properly exposed. In another one of the photographs, the ocean or the water will be properly exposed. In one of the other photographs, the trees or the rocks may be properly exposed. Then ultimately, you can merge all of those images together into one composite image. And Photoshop allows you to do this pretty quickly and easily. So the first step is, of course, going out and shooting um, a scene where the, you, the photographer, brackets the, that scene. It takes multiple photographs at multiple exposures of any one, one image, of any one image. So you would potentially have to do this using a tripod. That would be the best case scenario. But I recognize that a lot of you guys don't have a tripod. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put our camera on a steady surface. I went out and I took the, uh, my camera and I actually put it on a picnic table. And I held it as steady as possible, but you're going to see my camera did move. And I took a severely overexposed picture. I took a picture at relatively reasonable exposure. All right, here I got a little bit more of the sky into it and this is pretty significantly underexposed. All right, I put those pictures in a folder on my desktop. As you see, it's called Bracket 5. Gonna open up Photoshop right now. File, Automate, Merge to HDR Pro. Click on that. What pictures or files do you want me to use, asked the computer. I am going to go choose a folder. I'm going to browse for it on my desktop. Bracket 5. Boom. And I'm going to open it. Click OK. Pictures are coming in. Photoshop is thinking. And you will take note. Uh, let me actually see if I can zoom in a tad that I have my four pictures down here. All right. And I can actually choose, I can, I can play around with these check marks. All right. Which is giving certain pictures priority of being on top or on bottom. But what I really want to do for right now is I'm going to go over to this slider. All right. And I'm going to do what's called, I'm going to hit this prompt, which says remove ghosts. All right. You may have an issue where your photographs are, uh, you'll see a ghost like image and you can see, oh, actually you can see that here, uh, better than, better than, uh, when I had any of the other pictures as the priority image. Um, but in my last example, my last tutorial, I actually think you, you saw it even better. Okay, so what I want to do, and you'll notice that things are changing a little bit as I'm giving certain pictures priority, the priority mode. So now what I want to do is I want to go over to this preset. And where it says custom, if I, if I use that little uh, drop down arrow, I see that all of a sudden I'm offered all of these interesting filter 
type options. All right, so I'm going to go and select some of these options, and I'm going to see what, what's happening. If I like anything that's happening with my picture. All right, and I'm going to select a few different options, and I'm going to go uh, and really sort of explore these these options. But I like this Scott 5. That was kind of nice. That was kind of cool. I'm, I'm going to see what happens when I go and select some of these other images as the priority. You see what happened with the sky here? I actually like that option better. All right, so the first thing I'm doing is I'm playing around. Hmm, kind of like what's happening there. All right, let's see if I keep this as my priority image and I start playing around with the sliders a bit. I'm going to go to this edge smoothness. All right, and I'm playing around with the radius. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen myself as I'm doing this, but some really cool things are definitely starting to happen. I'm going to take my detail down a little bit, but you know what? I like the detail up a little bit higher. I don't know. I really, I really like this high, high contrast. What's going on here? Play with the vibrance a little bit. And I'm really interested in what I have going on right now. So what I'm going to do is um, I think I'm going to end my, um, I'm going to end my, my, my experimenting right here because I really like this, uh, this result. Okay. I'm going to click OK, and i got to give Photoshop a little time to think. And this was the final composite that it gave me, which is really quite neat. Now I'm going to save as a JPEG. I'm going to ask it to be sent to my desktop. I'm going to call this HDR bracket five. Okay, save that. I see it landed on my desktop. I'm actually going to close Photoshop. I'm going to quit out of Photoshop. And I'm going to pop this into Lightroom. I'm going to open up Lightroom. And I know already what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to take my HDR bracket five I'm going to have to pop it in a folder for Lightroom to recognize it. Okay, go back to my library. I'm on to import. From my desktop. And I'm hoping to find HDR bracket five. Here it is. Here's the folder. Click on that. Import it. Let's just do a little bit of developing. You know what I want to do? I want to warm it up with a little bit of a golden tone. Okay. A little bit of a golden tone there. I'm going to hit it with a tiny bit of a highlight priority. I may even straighten out the horizon just a wee bit. Did that do the trick? I may need a little bit more. Kind of focused on that. Okay. And I think I have a result that looks pretty darn cool. Um, File, export. I want to be sure my watermark is on it. MH is on the bottom right. Um, I will put into HDR bracket five, light room, I will call it. Export it out. I'm going to minimize my screen. HDR bracket 5 Lightroom. Okay, I want to show you this. Oh, that looks nice. And I want to open up 
one of the images and I'll take the best one that I had. And there you guys have it. And I'm going to say that's a pretty cool and dramatic final result. As a matter of fact, I'll do a little screenshot for you. Bada bing, bada boom. The end.